uh, in Mesopotamia. For a long time, our people here were keeping cows. But in 1989, Uganda was importing powdered milk from Denmark. And they mix it with water of Lake Victoria. And then they put there Uganda Dairy Corporation. The only dairy there was water. The only Ugandan product there was water. Otherwise, the, the milk was from Denmark. So I, I woke up those by and said, you please, you produce the milk. That Africans can produce milk which can be sold in the shop, in, in, the, in the supermarkets. As I speak today, now Uganda is a big exporter of so this, the science, must support import substitution. Then, export promotion, including adding value to the, ex to the exports we are already exporting. Instead of exporting uh, coffee be berries, Coffee, coffee seeds, roast coffee and, and, and package it so that you, you export processed coffee. Because finished coffee is 15 times more, brings in more money 15 times than the unprocessed coffee. Same with cotton, same with the, the, whole, the whole lineup. Fruits. And then you go to the sector of uh, the pathogenic economy, which have been causing us problems. They are a problem, but they are also a source of money. Other people have been earning money from diseases making vaccines, making medicines. Yes, people are sick, but the economy is also making money. Instead, Africa has been losing money on account of the sicknesses. Always big hemorrhage. You import drugs for malaria, you import drugs for a chidukano, you import drugs for... How would the country develop? So, those sectors, we have identified eight of them, and they will be the ones supervised by this Ministry of Science and Technology. And in this speech, they, they show how much money is in each of some of these sectors. Like the pathogen economy, the economy of diseases, $1.7 trillion in the world spent on vaccines and, and medicine. Engineering products, 1.1 trillion. The vehicles are like this one here, which we are making here. These are now, by 20 million, would be consuming $9 trillion. What they call ag agro security. 13.3 trillion. This is a lot of money in which Africa does not have a share. So, therefore, I want to congratulate the scientists because with the little resistance we have been carrying out 
and saving this little money which we gave to the universities, it seems there has been a big awakening. Ate to chat and we are just beginning. Because I'm determined to make sure that first of all, the scientists working for the government are well paid. Our tomorrow again, the Kunzi Jao. Funded. All these efforts of our scientists will be funded. Funded by direct allocations, but also through UDB. Because we are putting also quite a bit of money in UDB where people can borrow at low interest. So therefore, I want to congratulate the scientists for, because of what I saw here, you have already responded. There is, not, there is no area where you have not. Where our people have not uh, responded positively. Even somebody is trying to make an aircraft. So I congratulate you and I wish, to, I wish to encourage you, the government will support you. We shall do it by ourselves. We don't have to depend on outside. As you have seen, many of these, of these efforts have not been funded by outside. Chiramoto was never funded by outside. Our vaccine efforts have not been funded by outside. So I congratulate all the scientists. And uh, I wish you good luck. The Many times, I quote the Bible. I saw some people attacking Musa Nero the other day in Parliament. Normally, I quote the Bible, but this time I want to quote uh, the the Americans. Apparently, Americans have a law which makes it an offense to attack a decorated officer of the United States Army. Now, I saw some people attacking Musa Nero. Then I said, but do these people know that Musa Nero is a decorated person? Because I came to know Musenero from Duaniro. The way I came to know Musenero was we had a Ebola. Ebola invaded, uh, it was, I think, Kagadi invaded Kagadi. And it was frightening. People were dying. But I heard that our people had controlled it. So I asked uh, the, I think he was permanent secretary at that time. I don't know, permanent secretary or head of or chief medical officer, Dr. Zaramba in the Ministry of Health, I said, who, who are the people who helped with this Ebola? He said, there's a young girl 
she's not a, a medical, but she's a vet. She was in the front line. It was at night. I, I called her and I met this girl. How did you fight? Then she told me her story. That she had specialized in what they call the, the, the what do you call those? The disease between animals and people. Epidemiology. Huh? Epidemiology. No, no, no. This one doesn't. This one is just a, me, a mechanical. Zoonosis. They are called zoonosis. Ah, zoonotic. Zoonotic diseases. Yes. That she had specialized in zoonotic diseases from animals to people. So that's how I, I saw her. Then I, I said, you take this girl and she works in the Ministry of Health. They refused. They refused, refused to take her. But 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 you know. Some of you know government collection no Ghana. Kamba Savile. So I thought they had taken the girl in the Ministry of Health. Then once in a while I go to the church. I don't go to the church very often. But once in a while. I had gone to a church something in eastern Uganda. Then somebody, a girl came and said, you know, I am the girl who was fighting Yabora. Oh, are you working in the Ministry of Health? I said, no. They refused to give me a job. I am now in Sierra Leone, fighting Yabora in Sierra Leone. Can you imagine? Omwana yari agenze si yara lion ukurangisa ebola yeyo abange wana bagano kumuwa umurimu so I said what then I talked to them again wapi ah now recently when corona came I said where is that girl the one who used to fight ebola call her then, then I said, okay, if the people in the Ministry of Health don't want you, I put you in my office now. So I appointed her as, a, as a, my advice on, on epidemics. Mm-hmm. I want to go to Saja Gende. I want to go to Ned and to Umkada Jaracha Vera Won. So, when we won this new mandate, but when she was working as my advisor, she was helping with these vaccines, with what, with the, this, like this one here, yeah, this. Uh, the one of JCRC, the diagnostic, which has now been completed. It was through her that I was implementing them, uh, those things. So when I saw people attacking her, I said, I hope they are right. Because if they are not right, I will go for them. Because you have no right to attack a decorated officer of the Uganda scientific community. You have no right absolutely. Why can't you check? If you have got an issue, you can check. You, you can check. People use uh, our institutions. This is called abuse of power. This is definitely abuse of power, abuse of office. This is not acceptable. 
So I want to encourage you. But our Jamaat, there is Dr. Maranga. That, that, that lady has been disturbed by our people. Eh? Dr. Maranga, the one, he, her exhibition is there, the bananas. No, I would, I would like to call on Ugandans. Tukoye, Nava, Avako Rakatono, Nibatawanya, Avako Lichinini. You must respect, you must respect, you must respect. You must respect contribution. A country that does not respect constitution cannot, uh, contribution cannot develop. Mulnok Sima, Mulnok Tenda, Abakola, Ebirunji. So, sorry to divert you into, into some little quarry, but quarrying sometimes is also good. Thank you so much. Your Excellence, to Kusimia Nyo, or Ebiro Njibyo Naka, Njibyo Naka, Okongera, Okututum, Iza, Okutumbula, Ebiya Science, Technology, Ne Innovation, Mugwanga. Your Excellence, at this point, we are going to request you to participate in a very brief activity of launching scientific literature drive, a hundred books a year. Allow me to invite the decorated Honorable Dr. Monica Masanza Musenero. just one minute. Okay. As His Excellence comes back, I'm going to request the Honorable Minister of Higher Education to join us. And also the Honorable Minister for the Presidents to join us. So that is excellent. Find us in position. I request you to follow this Amunza Alan, who is wearing the official here. scientist who has published greatly to also join find out from you basically then yeah you, you will continue with that and i will request the media team to take position now i will request the sound team if you have uh, a mobile microphone to give it to honorable to the decorated honorable dr monica masanza musenero who is going to guide us through Well, thank you so much for joining us. As, and of course, uh, we have been live, actually. We are live right here at Kololo the Grounds, and the president has just been giving a keynote speech on how he is pledging to support all the innovators in Uganda. For those of you that did not make a, a moment to come right through here, I know very well that uh, uh, we are still in COVID-19 situation, but the few that managed to come here, we have seen and exhibited quite a lot of things that the innovators in Uganda have uh, to deliver to 
all of us Ugandans. And of course, uh, this has been made possible by the involvement of Pub, uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Science and Technology. And of course, that's SDI and of course in partnership with the President's Office. It has been a roller coaster because uh, people have come in with a lot of invention and uh, they've been voting online. Now today, uh, some of these people are going to receive awards. The event is still going on even when the President has finished uh, speaking. Uh, but uh, I want to uh, promise you that uh, this is going to be a yearly event. Uh, we're going to do that every year and we're going to join the rest of the world as we celebrate the National Science Day. Reporting, uh, reporting for you uh, right from uh, uh, the Kololo grounds. My name is Big Sam Chisache Katabalo. I hope you enjoy good programming that comes in from national uh, television. Enjoy the moment. Please keep your mask on all the time because we are still living in this uh, pandemic of COVID-19. But also, don't change your dial. Stay right there on UBC, your number one network for good programming, not only you, but with your family. Thank you for joining me. We're still right here at Kololo Grounds National Week, uh, National Science Week celebration. Enjoy the moment. God bless you. Bye-bye.